Hi, fifth grade. Today's math lesson is lesson 7.1, and we are talking about adding unlike fractions. This lesson is a continuation of what we did on Friday. So remember, we were finding a common denominator when those fractions didn't have the same number on the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing today, except now, once we fix those, we're going to be adding them together. So we're just gonna start with some practice problems because we should get the hang of it pretty quickly. So we have 7 tenths plus 1 fifth. First, we wanna look at the bottom numbers. Are they the same? No. So in order to fix that, first we have to cross multiply. So make those circles going diagonally both ways. And remember, we're going to multiply those numbers together. So starting at the bottom, seven times five is 35. And then going the other way, 10 times one is 10. After I have cross multiplied, remember my second step is to multiply the numbers on the bottom. So 10 times five is 50. I'm gonna write that underneath both sides here. And now I have fixed my fractions. I'm gonna go ahead and copy them down. So 35 fiftieths plus, because remember we're adding 10 fiftieths. And then I'm just going to figure out the rest in my head. Remember we add across the top. So 35 plus 10 would be 45 and my bottom number stays the same, 50ths. So my final answer would be 45 50ths. Let's try another one. 3 11ths plus 1 half. First, I'm looking at my bottom numbers. Are they the same? No. So my first step to fix them is to cross multiply. Draw those circles if you need to. If you can do it without the circles, that's fine too. Starting from the bottom going up, 2 times 3 is 6. The other way, 11 times one is 11. Once I've cross multiplied, I have to multiply the two on the bottom. So 11 times two will be 22. So I'm gonna add that underneath both of these and copy down the fractions that I got. Six 20 seconds and 11 20 seconds. And they're asking me to add. So I'm gonna put a plus sign in the middle and I'm adding across the top. Six plus 11 is 17. My bottom number stays the same, 22. So 17, 20 seconds. Alrighty, number three, one sixth plus three fourths. Looking at my bottom numbers, they are not the same. So what's the first thing I need to do? Hopefully you said cross multiply, draw those circles. Starting at the bottom going up, one times four is four. Six times three is 18. What's my next step after I've cross multiplied? Hopefully you said multiply the bottom number. Six and four is 24. So I'm gonna add that underneath both of these numbers that I just got. Copy down my fractions. I got four 24ths and 18 24ths. What are they asking me to do with those fractions? Add. So put your plus sign in the middle and figure out that. What would 4 24ths plus 18 24ths be? 22 24ths should have been your answer there. 22 24ths. Nice, we got one more up here. Let's give it a try. 3 eighths plus 2 fifths. Looking at my bottom numbers, are they the same? Nope. So how do I fix it? First, I need to cross multiply. Make those ovals if you need to. Starting from the bottom going up, five times three is 15. Other way, eight times two is 16. After I have cross multiplied, what's my second step? Multiply the two numbers on the bottom. Eight times five is 40. So add a 40 underneath each one of these numbers. Copy down the new fractions that I have, 15 40ths and 16 40ths. What are they asking me to do with those two fractions? Add them together. Adding across the top, be careful on this one. You should get 31. Bottom number stays the same, 31 fortieths. All right, and number five down here, I threw in a word problem just to make sure that we can do it with a word problem as well. Meg and Marcus are making a latch hook rug. So far, Meg has finished two fifths of the rug and Marcus has finished one fourth. What fraction of the rug have they completed? 
going to be adding to figure that out. So I'm going to add two fifths plus one fourth. Can I do two fifths plus one fourth? No, the bottom numbers have to be the same. So let's fix this first cross multiply, making my ovals if I need to. Four times two is eight. Five times one is five. After I cross multiply, I always multiply the two bottom numbers together. So four and five would be 20. Add that underneath both of these. I'm gonna copy down my new fractions, eight twentieths. I was adding plus five twentieths. Be careful here, we don't wanna mess up now. What is eight twentieths plus five twentieths? Hopefully you said 13 twentieths. Perfect, that would be my answer. All right, you're gonna be doing the same thing on your homework. Make sure you take your time and look at the examples that I already did because we did several of those together in class to give you a reminder about how to do those. Good luck, do your best.